I'm Gabrielle Avram, and this is James, James Corbett. Corbett, my co-organizer for the treaty camp, and we've been doing this for the last four years. Uh, the first and second editions were here in UL, and then we had one in I Tala IT. Uh, Stephen Howell, who's just giving a talk in there, invited us, and this year we decided to bring it back to Limerick. How did we start? Well, there were bar camps taking place all over Ireland, and there was a port camp, and there, there was a creative camp, and there was a web camp, and I said, let's do something in Limerick, in UL. And James here was interested in virtual worlds, and he said, let's do a 3D camp. Nobody else did something like this. Yesterday, I discovered there's one in Texas, Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, I think we're fairly unique, and it's an interest in uh, virtual worlds, but also in uh, location-based uh, technologies and uh, interactive installations and all of that. So I suppose the idea in my head originally with it was to look beyond, um, there was this fascination or an obsession almost with the web 2.0, and I just thought that there was so much more to the internet and uh, the future of the internet than just that narrow view. So it's. Uh, looking down the line towards augmented reality, virtual reality, stereoscopic 3D, and related technologies like location-based services and so on. And James is working with, with uh, virtual worlds, and uh, we saw a fantastic project of his with the open sim in a school in uh, Newcastle West. Uh, and I was amazed how uh, comfortable kids were with this type of technologies building in 3D. My own interest is more uh, about interactive installations and about working with the users, because I'm, I'm teaching the interactive media masters. I'm interested in um, kind of exhibiting the work of the students and helping them to get feedback at an early stage. So this fits very well with uh, 3D Camp, which happens in May, June every year. We have to be very careful, because one year we clashed with the um, Heineken Cup of Fire. And that was a disaster. <laughs> and oh my God, we could barely keep people in the room, no matter how interesting the talks were. It's getting more interesting every year in terms of where the technology is going, as I said, beyond the Web 2.0. Um, certainly, augmented reality and virtual reality are only starting to come into their own now. So it's, uh, I think it's very exciting for the years ahead. And it was for the first time this year that we had workshops and demos. And I think it worked really, really well, and we'll have to do more of this uh, next year, I think. And we also have had this uh, idea of maybe organizing it over two days, maybe Friday afternoon workshops and then Saturday talks, uh, but we don't know yet. So it's, it was very difficult to fit all the interesting talks into the program and to allow time for workshops and demos as well, and networking.